I tricked you guys. I'm going to show you guys my foundation routine. I've been getting so many requests for it, so I was like, you know what? Let me make this a two-part, a two-part video, you feel me? So, that's exactly what we're going to do. So my skin's already prepped. I basically use the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It's this. And I always use that with the rosehip oil. And I have a tube top on, but like I massage it into my skin. And it basically gives me like a smooth complexion, ugh, complexion look. And as you can see, I'm very hydrated. You see the glow in my skin. Um, I'm not really breaking out as much recently, but I've been taking fish oil and magnesium vitamins and those always help my skin. Fish oil is really good for anybody who's acne prone. It, it literally helps with our body. I've been having amazing, 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 amazing acne free days. So I'm happy. Like I have this little guy, but he, I'm not even going to call him out because he's been behaving and is making me happy. Anyways, so I did my skincare and I even added um, the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. Um, I just wanted to try it out because anything expensive I don't really put on myself unless I'm going to an event or it's like a really, I don't know, events. Anything that is worth it, I'll use the expensive stuff on my skin, but whatever. So, let's get in detail with everything. So when it comes to my skin, I love to make sure that my skin's prepped. If your skin is not prepped and you're just like literally going in, doing your foundation, you're ratchet as hell. You must have baby ass soft skin. I don't have that, so this is what I do. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. Um, but I basically make sure, even my clients, I make sure that everybody's skin is prepped. Toning, moisturizing, using an oil, making sure that the glow is like smooth, no pigmentations, like you don't even see my veins that much, like hello, smoothness, and it feels like butter. Alright, so I go in with the Nars Radiant Foundation, that's what I've been using lately. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Nars Radiant Foundation. And I'm going to use this Essence of Beauty Flat Concealer Brush. This is what I use to apply my foundation. And I basically have that much on it. I basically just like glide it in the container. And when it comes to applying it on my skin, I basically streak it down. And this is not a lot. A lot of people, I see them, like you can see... Um, makeup videos and they will like pump a whole bunch and they go poop 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 and I just have this on my finger um but they'll just put so fucking much on their skin this is a little bit this is very little bit I'm just making it extend more so it looks like a lot but this is literally a very tiny bit so I basically take the brush and little by little I'll add more because I want the coverage to stay where I need it I basically use a brush for placement I take another brush to buff it in and then I take the beauty blender to press it in. Those are my techniques. That's literally how I have the smooth buttery look to my skin that everybody's um, been asking on how I do things. Every little bit, I'm just going to spread whatever is left in the brush. Anyway, this is how I like to do my fucking foundation, so let me alone. Alright, so we have everything there. Make sure we have it on our neck. And I'm going to take the do, 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 the Morphe M10. That's how hype I get for this brush. This is my everything. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm literally doing this. I'm just tapping it into my skin. Tap everything in. And you can see, like, you don't see my acne scars. You don't see my facial hairs. I give it the peach fuzz look. Because somebody needs to shave their face. And yes, I dimmer blade my face because I like the smooth effect. So my foundation. It get it helps with like pigmentation. It helps with application of makeup. 
it just gives a nice smooth look even without makeup all right so just so everybody knows this is how i tap the ashley santana does my makeup it covers my acne like hello buttery glowy full coverage if i feel like i need more coverage where my acne scars are i'll just use whatever's left on the brush and then place it there so this has very little bit this one's okay but we should gonna have a little bit more here all right whatever do the same thing press it in see this do you do this see this sexiness buttery milky pecan it matches my neck like hello mamacita como tu ta bien do you like it do you like the glowiness do you see this like hello these are so good this is the elf um 16 hour camo concealer full coverage they are on the matte side um but that's why I hydrate my skin and even my under eyes a lot more because I just like to stay dewy. That's my thing. We want to keep it natural. So I'm just going to tap it in this side. Small, uh, the small Zoeva brush and I'm going to buff that in. And the same technique I use when it comes to the Y10 from Morphe. I'll go in with the smaller one and just tap it in. Look up and then tap everything on the bottom. But with this technique, I have been doing it for four years, I would say. I've been using NARS foundation for almost four to five years. My phone is going crazy. Um, but yeah, I've been doing the same thing. It's just the products that always change, but the technique never does. Do you see that? But do you see like the natural lighting here that you can still see the pop of my cheekbone out? Like hello! Do the other side. So I feel like with this concealer you definitely have to go in and buff everything quick. Because it will dry out. And we don't want dry under eyes. Then you need to make the white sand brush in a smaller version. Like a big version, medium version, medium small version, and a small version. That's what Morphe needs to do. Maybe I should do that the day that they give me a collaboration. Oh my god, I'll go crazy. I'll probably pee my pants of excitement. You see that? Fucking snatch, bitch. Let me go wet my beauty blender. Hold the fuck up. Come back. So, we're gonna go in. And we're just gonna press everything in with a damp beauty blender. This is the Real Technique sponge. And this is my favorite to use for myself. I feel like the way my skin is, my skin type, that this gives me the natural dewiness, the full coverage where I need it, it just helps. I feel like it really smooths out my skin a lot more. I like to make sure I go around my nostrils because sometimes we get like foundation not blended there. And I feel like with the beauty blender, it kind of picks up makeup from my skin and then has it on the brush I mean on the beauty blender and it's just like I don't know I just don't like how the beauty blender works on my skin I'd rather do the real technique sponges um it just works for me we did foundation we did concealer so now we're gonna go in with contouring I love to cream contour because it's our natural way of showing our features so I have more cheeks so basically where my bone pops out like you can see it you can literally see right there and I basically put it right where the bone is then when it comes to my hair my basically my hairline goes in a lot more so I like to just tap it there and then I'll take a little bit on the tip of my nose I'll go in with the Y10 brush and I'll just tap all of this in and the same thing on this side I'm just going to tap everything in 
And we're just going to tap everything in. We did concealer, we did brightening, we blended everything in. So now we're going to go in with powder and we're going to set. This is the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder, but I mixed it with the RCMA um, Translucent Powder as well. So I take the Beauty Blender and I use the tip of it. That's basically what is there, but I just like to tap off the excess. I'm just going to press it into the skin with the Damped Beauty Blender. I feel like what the Dermablend and the RCMA powder together, it really gives smoothness to the skin. But everything that I'm doing with the powder is just pressing it in where it highlighted basically. So where I put the highlight, I'm basically using the powder to set that. Now, the rest of my face is not set. But I like to leave it that way and then use products as I go. So now what I'm going to do is use the Artist Couture Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder. And I have a small size of it. And whatever is left on the lid is what I use. So I'm going to take a fan brush. This is the Morphe M601 uh, brush. Tap it on the brush. Tap off the excess and apply it where I need it. So you can already see the shape of where everything is supposed to be placed. So highlight here, contour you see here. So this I use as like my base, this highlighter. So we did that. Now we're gonna go in with the bronzer. So I go in with two bronzers as always. And I use the Milani Baked Bronzer number 4. It's a lot more orange undertone. Matte bronzer. And it's a lot more chocolatey. Do you see that? Wait. There you go. So I'll take this buffing brush from Morphe. It's the Morphe M581 brush. So I basically do this. Tap off the excess and tap it into my skin. Everything I do is about pressing products into the skin when it comes to me and my clients. So that's how they get the dewiness on their skin. With this bronzer, I'll use very little bit because a little bit goes a long way. But I like to just tap it where I need it. I'm going to go in with the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Do the same thing. Dust it, dust the brush in it and just tap everything into my skin we just I never said we was done so don't go assuming this might look a lot but I never said that now I'm gonna go in with contour and I love to use this palette this is so worth it for anybody who's a freelancer if you want something that's all in one this is the Kevin Aquan um, contour book this is in volume 3 this is what it looks like so you have a uh, contour shades, light, medium, deep. You have two highlighters, one more orangey golden, and then one more golden. Then you have the Kevin Aquan um, uh, monochromatic blush. I love this blush because it goes from medium to uh, from light, medium to deep. So I'm gonna go in with the blush, and this has like small specks of glitter. I'm not going to say glitter because it's not glitter. It has iridescence. And I'm going to slightly smile like... Like that. And I'm just going to dust it on the apples on my cheeks but bring it slightly up to where my bronzer is. Now I'm going to go in using the Sculpting Medium which is the one in the middle. And I'm going to use the Morphe R10 brush. It's like a flat buffing brush and I'm just going to tap that on here. Tap off the excess and where um, I want more of the hollowness to my cheeks to show up more is where I'm going to put that. So my bone's right here and I'm going to tap that right there. I'm going to use the Sephora Micro Smooth um, Face Powder. And, where's my brush? Make sure it's dry. 
And I'm going to use the, I think this is the powder brush from Juvia's Place. Mine, the barrel right here popped off and I glued it right back on because this is still okay. So your growing got me like that. I'm going to take that, I dust it on it, like I scrolled it in, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to press everything together. You want everything to be diffused together, mend together, make sure everything is well blended. And everything I do when it comes to a blush application and everything, I just tap everything into my skin. Alright, so complexion is done. Nice, smooth. We're going to set our face. I use a Hawaiian Tropic Island Sport. Sport? Island Sport. This is the ultralight sunscreen spray. And then I set my face with the Mara Bidescu, uh facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I have very little left, but I got bottles. So when it comes to using the sunscreen spray to give me the dewiness still, I shake the bottle. I use the fan. Don't judge my fan. I know it's broken. And where my highlight is, I'll just take this. and lightly spray where my highlight is. Where I want the dewiness, that's where I spray the sunscreen spray. And I got this technique from um, Scott Barnes. And then I take the Margaret Badescu and I just spray all over. And then go in with the Beauty Blender and then press everything in so now I'm gonna go back in finish the eyes I'll be back I'll do what I have to do but we're gonna finish this look All right sweetie I'll see you in like five minutes hold up hold up hold the honey for me I'll be back all right we're gonna get some bite glow all right so I'm gonna turn my camera down a little bit so you guys can see so I have a switch top on, but to give you a little bit more body glow, sunscreen spray, and a dual fiber brush. This is from Morphe, this is the M462, it's a big diffusing brush, and I'm literally just going to spray this all on my chest. I'll take a little bit of the Illuminati highlighter. Are we glowing or not? You put me on. You let me know. This is this is Bobby approval. Let me know. Let me know. All right. So we got like a nice slick back. I need to get a haircut. Nice slick back hairdo. Got the hoop earrings in. Got the lashes on. You know. Got the glow. Do you see this? Like, hello. Un pelito ahí. Like, who's taking me out? I want some almas empanadas. I want some chips NYC cookies. Like, what's up? Snatched where I need to. Like, I don't even know who he is. I'm somebody's glazed donut and I don't even know who he is. It's alright. I'm my own glazed donut. Independent. Thank you guys so much for the support and love that you guys show me on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Mm -hmm.